Take a moment to relax. Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms turned upwards. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Bring your awareness and attention to being in the class, being with yourself. Relax. 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 Bring your feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, give yourself a nice long stretch and exhale, release your arms, turning to one side, please come and sit up. Begin the class with a prayer, Om chanting together. सहनाव भुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवावहै तेजस्विना बधीतमस्तुमा विद्विशावहै ओम शांत 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 हे हरि ओम तत्सत ओम नमः शिवाया वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट्स बिगिन विथ आवर ब्रीथिंग प्रैक्टिसेस Starting with Kapalabhati, sit comfortably, legs crossed, back straight, hands on your knees in Chin Mudra, connect with your breathing, long inhale, slow exhale. Now first round of Kapalabhati, deep breath inhale. And begin. Hunt, 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 hunt. And 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 
One, two. Good. Relax. Relax the shoulders and arms. Relax the neck and the face. Relax the whole body. Get ready to hold the breath. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath gently, comfortably. Be relaxed. Focus your mind. Repeat mantra. Very good. Slowly exhale. Relax. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Long inhale. Slow exhale. We're ready for the second round of Kapala Bharati. Deep breath inhale. And begin. Hunt, hunt. Hunt, 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 Hun, 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 Relax the body, calm down your mind. Get ready to hold the breath. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath gently, comfortably. Hold the breath only as long as you feel comfortable. The more you relax, the easier it is to hold the breath. Very good. Slowly exhale. Relax. Be aware of your breathing. Breathe slowly and deeply. Breathe consciously. Expanding the breath. Let us continue with alternate nostril breathing, Anuloma Viloma. Left hand in Chin Mudra. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra. Once more, a deep breath. Inhale. Very slowly exhale. Now, close the right nostril with the right thumb. From the left nostril, inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. Retain your breath, close both the nostrils. Right, exhale, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Right inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Keep your body relaxed, arms, shoulders, neck, face. Left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Left inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, retain the breath, close the nostrils. Right, 
right exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight right inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils also relax your mind be more and more aware of your own breathing left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight left inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils right exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight right inhale um one um two um three um four retain the breath close the nostrils keep the back straight keep the spine erect left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight left inhale um one um two um three um four retain the breath close the nostrils as the mind wanders bring it back continue to focus on your breathing right exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight right inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight left inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils last round right exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight right inhale um one um two um three um four retain the breath close the nostrils last retention and left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight bring the right hand down both hands on your knees in chin mudra relax breathe a few times slowly and relax with each breath good now come and lie down and once more relax in shavasana arms and legs apart rest and relax Mm. 
Slowly bring your legs together. Stretch both arms over behind your head. Inhale. Stretch your body and exhale. Release your arms, turning to one side. Come and stand up for Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. Come and stand on top of the mat. Bring your feet together. First round of Sun Salutation on the right side, beginning slowly. Let the body open up on its own. Do not push yourself in the first couple of rounds. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your palms together. Two, inhale, lift your arms up, stretch, look up and arch back. Three, exhale slowly, bend forward and bend down. Four, inhale, stretch your right leg back, knee on the ground, toes out, look up. Five, hold the breath, body in a straight line, in a push-up position. Six, exhale, knees down, chest down, forehead. Seven, inhale, sliding forward, hips down, head, shoulders and chest up. Eight, exhale, hips up, heels to the mat, inverted V. Nine, inhale, the right leg forward between the two hands, left knee on the ground, look up. Exhale, the left leg also forward. Deep breath, inhale, stretch your arms forward, lift your arms up and arch back. Exhale, drop the arms down, relax. Very good. First round on the left side, inhale and exhale one, palms together. Two, inhale, arms up, look up and arch back. Three, exhale, forward and down. Four, inhale, the left leg back, knee on the ground, toes out, look up. Retain the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Six, exhale, knees down, chest down, forehead. Seven, sliding forward, inhale, hips down, head, shoulders and chest up. Eight, exhale, hips up, heels to the mat, inverted V. Nine, inhale, the left leg forward between the two hands, the right knee on the ground, toes out, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, forehead close to the knees. 11, inhale, stretch your arms forward, lengthening the back, lift up and arch back. 12, exhale, drop the arms down, relax. Second round on the right side, deep breath, inhale. Mm, exhale, one, palms together. Two, inhale, arms up, arch back. Three, exhale, forward and down. Four, inhale, the right leg back. Five, hold the breath, body in a straight line. Six, exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. Seven, inhale, head, shoulders and chest up. Eight, exhale, hips up, heels to the mat, inverted V. Nine, inhale, the right leg forward, looking up. Ten, exhale. Eleven, inhale, arms forward, arms up and arch back. Twelve, exhale, relax. On the left side, inhale and exhale one. Two, inhale, three, exhale, four, inhale, left leg back, five, retain the breath, body in a straight line, six, exhale, seven, inhale deeply, eight, exhale, inverted V, nine, inhale, left leg forward, ten, exhale, the right leg. 11, inhale deeply, arms up, arch back, 12, inhale, relax. Very good. Stretching a little more now with each round, using the help of your own breath and the help of gravity. Third round on the right side, inhale, exhale one, palms together. Two, inhale, arms up, arch back. Three, exhale, forward and down. Four, inhale, the right leg back. Five, hold the breath. Six, exhale. Seven, inhale deeply. Eight, exhale, inverted V. Nine, inhale, the right leg forward. Ten, exhale, the left. Eleven, inhale deeply. 
12 exhale relax on the left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale four inhale left leg back five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale left leg forward nine inhale 10 exhale 11 inhale deeply 12 exhale relax focus a little more on your breathing fourth round right side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale right leg back four inhale five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward nine inhale ten exhale long breath eleven inhale long breath exhale on the left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale left leg back four inhale five hold the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale left leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale deeply twelve exhale relax fifth round right side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale right leg back four inhale five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale deeply twelve exhale relax on the left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale left leg back four inhale five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale inverted v left leg forward inhale right leg exhale long breath inhale long exhale sixth and last round inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale right leg back four inhale five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale right leg forward nine inhale ten exhale 11 inhale deeply 12 exhale relax on the left side inhale exhale one two inhale three exhale left leg back four inhale five retain the breath six exhale seven inhale eight exhale inverted v left leg forward nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale deeply twelve exhale relax wonderful six rounds of sun salutation please come and lie down and relax in shabasana Arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms turned upwards. Relax your body. Relax your mind.
Bring your feet together. Bring your arms by your side. Today, let's some, do some work with the legs. Deep breath, inhale. Now, bring your right leg up. Hold your right leg with both hands. And as you exhale, bring your head and chest up. Hold the leg in a way that your right knee is not bending. You can hold your cuff muscle, your thigh, your ankle. Keep the arms loose and relaxed. And also relax your left leg. Breathe properly. Breathe carefully. Good inhale, bring the head down. And exhale, bring the right leg down. Inhale, bring the left leg up, hold the leg with both hands. And as you exhale, bring the head and chest up. Awareness during the practice of yoga is very important. Be aware of tension and try to relax the muscles, shoulders, neck, arms, face. Try to also relax your right leg. Mm, very good. Inhale, head down and exhale, left leg down. Now stretch your arms to the sides. Make a T with your arms and your body. Bring the right leg up. Inhale once more. And drop your right leg towards your left hand as you exhale. You're crossing your body with your right leg and you turn and look at your right arm, right hand. You're looking towards the right side. Do what you can do comfortably according to your own flexibility, whatever your body allows you. You're creating a lying down spinal twist. Try to relax the right shoulder, the right arm, and the neck. Very good. Inhale the right leg up and then exhale, bring the right leg down. On the left side, inhale the left leg up. Drop your left leg to the right side as you exhale and turn and look in the opposite direction. You look towards your left hand, left arm. Feel the wonderful stretch all along the back. Continue to breathe carefully, slowly, deeply. Long inhale, long exhale. Very good, inhale, left leg up, and exhale, left leg down. Now bring both arms underneath your body to support your lower back. Let's do some double leg raises. Palms are facing down underneath your buttocks. Both legs together. Deep breath, inhale, both legs up. Slowly exhale, legs down. Be sure that your hands are underneath your thighs, underneath your buttocks. Second time, inhale, both legs up. Exhale down. Three, inhale up. Exhale down. Four, inhale up. Exhale down. Five, inhale up. Exhale down. Now, as you come down, try to keep the legs one inch off the floor. Six, inhale up. Exhale down, one inch off the floor. Seven, inhale up, exhale down. Eight, inhale up, exhale down. Nine, inhale up, exhale down. And one last time, inhale up and slowly exhale, legs down to the floor. Release your arms, arms and legs comfortably apart.
Shake out your shoulders and relax in Shavasana. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Mm. Feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch, exhale, release your arms, turning to one side, come and sit up, prepare for the headstand, Shirshasana, relax in the child's pose. Mentally prepare yourself for the headstand, visualize yourself in the pose. If you haven't taken the Shivan and the beginner's course as yet, and if you're not used to practicing the headstand from before, then do not practice the headstand right now. You can either relax in the child's pose or you can watch the Practice of the headstand. All the others who have been practicing the headstand, come and sit up. Take the eight steps for the headstand. First of all, measure out your arms and uh, hold your elbows. Place the forearms on the floor. Step number one. Step number two, release your hands and uh, interlock your fingers, making a tripod. Step number three, place the crown of your head on the floor. Step number four, lift your hips up. Step number five, walk forward. Step number six, once the back is straight, put the knees into the chest. Step number seven, lift your knees up towards the ceiling. And step number eight, straighten the legs. Those who are attempting the headstand, you can at least try the first four or five steps. But once again, please remember to try the headstand only once you've finished, completed the Shivan and the Beginners course. Or you've been taught earlier how to do the headstand. Continue to attempt coming into the headstand. Do it with awareness. Use this time of two or three minutes to practice in the class. And those who are holding the headstand, hold it comfortably for as long as you can. And remember to focus on your breathing. Relax your body from the feet downwards. Very good. Now finishing up, reverse the steps, bend your knees, bring your knees into the chest, slowly bring your feet down to the mat and then putting your knees on the floor, relax in the child's pose. Let your blood circulation come back to normal. And then when you're ready, sit up, turn over and lie back in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Relax the body, relax the mind.
Mm. We continue with the shoulder stand, Sarvangasana, legs together, arms by your side. Now take a deep breath, inhale and then lift your legs up, hips up and support your back. See if you'd like to adjust yourself a little bit. Lift your hips up a little higher. Bring your hands a little closer towards your shoulder blades. And now, once more, relax in the pose. Welcome the silence. Observe the breath. Enjoy being in Sarvangasana. Exhale slowly, drop both legs down behind your head into Halasana, the plow. Remember to keep supporting your back. Only if your feet touch the floor behind you, then you unsupport the back. Halasana, the plow. Remember to do what you can do comfortably, which means that you should be able to breathe and relax in the posture. Keep your arms now on the mat, palms facing down. Use your arms as brakes. And very gently, roll out of the posture one vertebra at a time. Coming out of Halasana. Keep your legs together. Bring your arms underneath your body, elbows close together. We'll practice Matsyasana, the fish. Deep breath, inhale, lift your head and shoulders up, chest up, tilt your head back. And keep the crown of your head on the floor behind you. Breathing long, breathing slow, breathing deep.
So if we can bring your chest up a bit higher and tilt your chin back just a bit more. Now inhale and as you exhale slide the head down, release your arms, shake out your shoulders, gently turn your head a couple of times to the right and left, releasing any tension around the shoulders, relaxing Shavasana, relax your body, relax your mind. feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, give yourself a nice long stretch and exhale, release your arms, turning to one side, come and sit up, stretch your legs forward, let's do the sitting forward bend, Paschimottanasana, deep breath inhale, lift both arms up and then slowly as you exhale, lean forward and bend down. Hold the legs comfortably, wherever you can, without bending your knees. A good way would be to gently move the heels forward, point your toes towards the face, so that the back of the legs become flat on the mat. And then, according to your flexibility and capacity, hold the legs somewhere, either your thighs or your knees or your shins, or your ankles or toes. And then slowly surrender yourself forward and down. Relax your shoulders and neck. Breathe all along the spine. As you inhale, you feel the spine lengthen. As you exhale, feel yourself relaxing forward and down. inhale stretch your arms slowly forward and then lift your arms all the way up and exhale drop the hands down behind you give yourself a counter stretch Purvottanasana, the inclined plane deep breath inhale lift your hips up throw the head back point your toes down towards the mat giving the back especially the lower back a good counter stretch Breathe deep and slowly exhale, come down. Very good. Turn over, lie down on your abdomen, make a pillow with your hands and relax. One palm resting on top of the other, turn your head to one side, rest and relax. Beginning with the backward bends, let's practice the Cobra, Bhujangasana, hands by the side of your shoulders, forehead on the mat, legs, heels together. Remember to keep your fingertips in line with the top of your shoulders and keep your elbows tucked into the body. Deep breath, inhale, lift your head up, shoulders up, chest up. 
Breathing long, breathe strong, breathe deep. Very good, slowly exhale, release the posture. Keep your forehead on the floor and stretch your arms forward. Keep your legs slightly apart. Let's practice Naukasana, the boat. Once again, with a deep inhalation, lift your head up. This time, lift your arms and shoulders up. Slowly lift your legs up. Breathe here, do not hold your breath. It doesn't matter how high or how long you can be in the posture. Um, slowly exhale, come down, still keeping the forehead on the floor. Bend your legs, reach back and hold your ankles. Let's practice Dhanurasana, the bow. The more you can separate your knees, the easier it is to practice the bow. Now deep breath, inhale, lift your head up, shoulders and chest up, knees and thighs up. Breathing deeply once more. Strong breath. Dhanurasana, the bow. Hold it. Breathe on five. Breathe on four. Breathe on three. On two. And slowly exhale, come down. Very good. Release your hands. Make a pillow once more with your hands. Turn your head to the opposite side and relax. Be aware of your abdomen moving against the floor as you breathe. by the side of your shoulders, stretch back into the child's pose, sit back on your heels and relax your back. We'll do one more backward bend. Now please come and sit up and then stand up on your knees and step forward with your left leg as you do in the Surya Namaskar, one leg is stretching back, one leg is forward. The left knee is directly over the left ankle. Bring your hands in prayer position in front of the chest. We are practicing Anjaneyasana, the half crescent moon. Lift your arms up and looking up, slowly arch back. Palms are together, breathing deeply. And slowly release the side coming up and releasing the hands. Change your leg. Take the right, left leg back, right leg forward. Right leg, the right ankle, right knee in line, palms together in front of the chest. Lift your arms up slowly, looking up and arching back. Continue to breathe as freely as you can. And slowly inhale, come back up, exhale, release the posture, stretch your right leg also back and relax in the child's pose. Give your back 
a really nice counter stretch. Mm, very good, come and sit up. You can take the length of the mat and practice the crow, Kakasana. Come into a squatting position. Hands are shoulder width apart. The legs and hands form a square. Knees rest on your upper arms, looking forward. Shift your weight out towards your fingers. And as you tilt forward, your feet will come up from behind you. Kakasana, the crow. Try a few times. If you cannot come up as yet, if you're holding the posture, hold it for just a few more seconds. And slowly drop your feet down and then come and stand up. Stay with the length of the mat. Separate your legs four to five feet apart more than twice the width of your shoulders. Turn the right toe out towards the right side. And then bend your right knee and place the left hand on the floor by the side of your right foot. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. We're doing this standing spinal twist. Parivritta Trikonasana. You're looking up towards the top hand. Those who are more flexible can wrap their right arm around the back. Take the left arm across the right knee. And then see if you can interlock your fingers from underneath the right thigh. Very good. Slowly release the posture. But stay in the same position placing the left hand down, sorry, the right hand down on the floor by the side of your right foot. Stretch your left arm over the left ear. We're doing the triangle, Trikonasana. Hold and breathe. Feel the shoulder and the side lengthening. Good, inhale, slowly come back up and release the side. Right toe forward, left toe out. Bend your left knee, place the right hand on the floor by the side of your right foot. And stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. Try to keep both arms in one line. The more you try, the better you get. Do a little bit now, do a little bit tomorrow, and slowly you'll start improving. If you're more flexible, take your left arm behind your back, right arm across your left knee, and then you can interlock your fingers from underneath the left thigh. Um, good, release the posture. This time, place the left hand on the floor. Stretch your right arm over the right ear. The classical pose of the triangle, Trikonasana. Just that the left knee is bent. Wonderful. Inhale, slowly come back up and release. Turn both toes forward. Separate your legs just a little more. And then interlock your hands behind your back. We finish with the forward bend. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bend forward and bend down. Pull your arms up, away from the back. It's not important to touch your head on the floor, but it's very nice for the head to be below the heart. An extra supply of blood and oxygen is entering the brain. And as you lift your arms away from the back, 
the tiredness in the upper back and neck and the shoulders is getting released. Keep the legs locked. Wonderful. Um, slowly pull yourself back up. Keep your hands interlocked and gently arch back just a bit more. So release. Come up. Put your feet together and then come and lie down. Get ready for final relaxation. Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Make some final adjustments if you need. And then settle down and become still. Now suspend all effort. Withdraw your awareness into a deep inner space of silence and stillness. Relax the whole body from the feet upwards. Relax the toes feet, ankles, relax the shins and calf muscles, relax the knees and the thighs. Relax the hips and buttocks. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Relax the lower back, the middle back and the upper back. Relax the whole spine. Relax the fingers, the palms, the forearms, the elbows and the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and shoulder blades. Relax the neck and the throat. Finally, relax the face. Mouth, jaws, cheeks, eyes, forehead. Also relax your mind, slow down your thoughts, calm down your feelings. Welcome the silence and stillness. Relax. Relax. Relax.
breathing a little more deeply slowly bring your awareness back to the present gently move your fingers and toes hands and feet coming out of shavasana slowly draw your legs together stretch both arms over behind your head inhale nice long stretch and exhale release your arms turning to one side please come and sit up let's finish the class with the final prayers sit quietly with your eyes closed just for a moment enjoy the peace and relaxation ಸತೋಮ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋಮ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಚದೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯದೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಗುರು ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕೀ ಜಯ Hari Om Tat Sat Wonderful to have you in the class today. Thank you for joining.